Hello and welcome to this Dutch Ross video on determining the decimal multiplier that would lead to a percentage increase or decrease. Let's read the question. We want to write down the multiplier to firstly increasing a quantity by 23% and secondly decreasing a price by 4%. Now we'll see more about the purpose of decimal multipliers in further videos on this skill. But basically it's what we can times a number by to have a certain effect. So what would we multiply a number by to increase a quantity by 23%? What would we multiply a number by to decrease a price by 4%? So we'll actually do that multiplication in the further videos. Now, when we're dealing with percentage increases or decreases, the key point is we always start at 100%. Because everything is 100% of its value. 100% of its value just means itself. So if I had 100% of 20, that's just 20. 100% of something is just itself. So if we look at part A, we want to increase a quantity by 23%. So it starts 100% of its value, all of its value, and we're increasing it, that means going up by 23%. So we're adding 23%. Now what's 100 plus 23? Well, it's just 123. So the value of this item, whatever it is, is now 123% of its value. And then you just convert that to decimal form. Now, to convert a percentage to a decimal, we explored that in a previous video, we just divide it by 100. That's how you go from a percentage to a decimal. So when we divide by 100, the decimal place at the moment is here, just after the 3. And when we divide by 100, it's going to move two places to the left, so 1, 2. So we're going to get 1.23. So that means if you want to increase a quantity by 23%, you multiply the number by 1.23. What about the second one? We want to decrease a price by 4%. Now, as before, we always start 100%. The price of the item starts 100%, so all of it, and then we're decreasing, so we're reducing it, going down by 4%, so minus 4%. Now, what's 100 minus 4? Well, it's just 96. We're at 96%. And as before, we need to convert that percentage to a decimal. Just convert this percentage to a decimal. So we divide by 100. So at the moment, the decimal point is at the end of the number. So it's 96.0, if you like. And it means two places to the left if we divide by 100. So 1, 2. So it's 0.96 or 0.96. And it kind of makes sense if you think about it. If I was to multiply a number by 1, it will stay at the same value. But if you multiply by a number just less than 1, so 0.96 is just less than 1, it's going to just slightly reduce the value. And that's indeed what would happen. If you decrease the price of something by 4%, it's become slightly less in value. So that number feels about right. 